For months now, the conflict in Eastern Europe, which, just to remind you, is between two countries that are not the United States, Russia and Ukraine, has been escalating. Our involvement has been escalating. Now, the overwhelming majority of Americans, including this show, sympathize with the Ukrainians. They were invaded. But it's not our war. We are not at war with anybody. We sympathize with one side, but we are not fighting anybody. But increasingly, day by day, it becomes clear, actually, we are. The United States is at war with Russia. And now there's coming out and saying it. So here's the number two Democrat in the House, the House Majority Leader, Steny Hoyer of Maryland, just saying flat out, we're at war with Russia. Now, there was never a vote to go to war with Russia. There was never an authorization of military force that would allow legally a war with Russia. But it doesn't matter. We're at war. Watch. Mr. Speaker, it is unfortunate that a time of war that we spend all the time blaming our own president. You got that? So Joe Biden got us in a war that you didn't want and nobody voted on. And now because we're in that war, you're not allowed to criticize Joe Biden because we're at war. You can't criticize the president when we're at war. See how that works? No wonder they're for war. <laughs> it's pretty amazing.